This year I've ridden sort of four of the World Cup tracks. In some of the World Cup tracks you see some, you know, some really tough sections, but in general it's sort of just a one or two token sections. Um, here the whole track is um, quite technical. You come out here and uh, this hammerhead section, uh, it really just hits you. It's sort of been a beefed up track from the, from the World Cup and all the international riders love the World Cup, so uh, I'm sure they'll love it. Everything's definitely on track. Fencing's starting to go up, there's spray paint on the ground. Um, all of our contractors are now locked in. Um, it's just a matter of uh, the date obviously getting closer and uh, the bump in of the majority of the infrastructure starts in about um, two weeks' time. Hammerhead, which is a part of the cross-country um, track, um, it's, it's been in for, for just a little while. However, uh, the technicality of, the, of the, the, uh, the Hammerhead will really make it a feature for the cross-country. The cross-country track here at Stromlo, it's, it's very, very unique. It's a purpose-built cross-country, whereas most of the other uh, cross-country tracks on the world circuit are kind of flow-ons from snowfields and those kind of things. So I guess we're pretty lucky here to have the, um, the, the cross-country trail. I think that the venue has, uh, has certainly uh, got the tick of approval uh, from, uh, from participants. Uh, there were some changes required to make it even more challenging that have been put in place for, uh, for the World Championships. So obviously a, a number of uh, international teams uh, and support staff uh, and mountain bike enthusiasts who will, you know, who will travel uh, for this event. Uh, but we're also very keen to pick up a, a large domestic audience as well. We have a, a world-class facility here at Stromlo Forest Park and we want to continue to hold these sorts of world-class events. Definitely hoping for you know, a good lot of support. Um, I think people got a sample from the World Cup and you know, a lot of people are really impressed. Um, the atmosphere out here is just like, uh, well, I guess it's quite close to the Tour de France with being able to get you know, right next to the riders and uh, I mean, from both a, a rider point of view and you know, from the spectators, it's just a, a great feeling.